But we do want that young, but they're not telling people when Thurman's fucked up with an elbow. Danny broke his elbow after the, at the Thurman and Danny Garcia fight. Danny broke his elbow, but they're not talking about that. They sugarcoating that shit. He's fucked up. He might not even be the same guy ever after that. You think we'll get Danny in there at the end of this year? Oh, yeah, we want it. We want it in July, but Thurman said he need more time. So that tells you a whole lot. I know Danny is disappointed. He said he's never been mentioned as a pound for pound fighter. Well, you know what, Young, at the end of the day, brother, it don't matter what people say. Because at the end of the day, as long as you know what you did, it's, what, it's how you satisfy yourself in life. It's how you satisfy yourself in life. Because if you follow people, what they say about you and all that, you never be happy. Because they're always going to talk about you, Young. No matter what you do, people are always going to talk bad about you. But as long as you happy, as long as what makes you happy. You can't follow into that. That's like, if you want to fall into that, then start watching Love Hip Hop. That's all coordinated gossip. People don't know that's all coordinated. They told to do that shit. That's all that is. People love that shit. People love gossip. That's something more than fucking rice and beans. <laughs> Angel, did you notice that Thurman was hurt during yeah, well, the fight? You know what? I noticed in day 11 something was wrong, mm -hmm. but I couldn't figure it out. When he was leaning against the wall, he, Danny had him in my corner, mm -hmm. and I was telling Danny hit him with a three shot, and he jumped back out. And I'm like staying because he was leaning down like that. Mm -hmm. like he was covering up. But I thought it was a body shot, but I couldn't figure it out. But it was that he couldn't work with that arm no more. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? If I would have been like a, a genius and I would have figured it out, I would have told Danny, just go out there and beat the shit out of him. Yeah, yeah. Because he hurt. Is but, it, go ahead. No, go. I was going to say, is, is it frustrating for you as his father, as his trainer, to not see Danny get the type of credit? I mean, I was just talking to him earlier. Oh, yeah. He's got pretty much one of the top three got, best resumes great, in boxing. Exactly. He had a great resume as, a, as, a, as an amateur, too. Mm. Danny should have been the 2000 Olympian. Mm. Danny fought almost, almost 15 times to get to the Olympic trial, the finals mm. for the Olympian. 2008, 140 pounder. Mm -hmm. And we got set up the same way politics. But what's the Olympian at today? You wouldn't even know who the 40, 100, 140 pound Olympian 2008, right? No. Nobody knows. Wow. He's the, he turned out to be the altar. We went, we went um, pro that same day, right there at the arena. Mm -hmm. We're golden one. We turned to golden one. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I don't regret nothing because God been good to us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because as long as the man said it's fine, I'm satisfied. Danny's happy, my friends are happy, I'm good. Mm. Now I can't. At the end of the day, it's about me and God. Mm -hmm. Our relationship. Sometimes things happen to you, trials and tribulation, to see Absolutely. how bad you believe in him. Mm. So he took something from us that meant a lot, but he's gonna double that, triple that. Mm. So it don't matter to him. Because long that's how he wanted it. Yeah. That's all we probably was a little off track. We don't know. He put it back on track. Did you feel like you were a little off well, track? Well, I don't, I don't think we was off track, but... But you don't you know. know. Say, I don't know because God worked in mysterious ways. Right. He, I probably didn't satisfy him or Danny mm. in his eyes. Because mm. that's how God works. God is a punishing God mm. and a loving God at the same time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I couldn't really, could really hear it, but Danny said something about it. Like he was, I don't know, you want to dance or shit? I couldn't really hear it. I think it was like... You don't dance or some shit. Yeah, he See, did, I need yeah. that. I need that kind of fighter like that. I don't need guys to run around on that. I need that. I need, a puncher need a guy to be in front of him. You know what I'm saying? He's a good puncher too. You know what I'm saying? He got a good resume. But at the end of the day, he had war. We had it. You talk a lot about. He had a lot of punishment. I'm not saying that's an excuse now. I'm not building excuses for him. That's their teams. It's, that's their problem, not mine. That's their camp's business. Not none of my business. Because me as a, as a trainer, I got to look out for the interests of my fighter. So the day I see Danny, he got to hang it up. He got to hang it up. Because I won't be around if he, if he don't want to listen. I'm, I'm gone. Because like I said, I told you before, ain't no money in the world. I'm to take this guy from y'all, bro. Come on, baby. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we out, bro. Well, I visualize that, right? Yeah. Did he say he gonna come dance? Not dancing? Not dancing? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's him getting out for early. <laughs> for body shots. Early. Good to see you, Danny. See you later, brother. Thank you, brothers. All right, thanks, hey, guys. This is some of, some of the best media you just talked to, by the way. One, two, three. <laughs> appreciate all these guys. Thank you, brothers. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right, baby.